Hey guys, Dr. Hernandez MC here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make entities follow you and you to just become the entity in vanilla Minecraft. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. So, I'll be showing you how to become two different, let's say, types of entities. The ones where you could push, like this wolf over here. As you can see, you can push it around. And ones where you can't push, like this emerald block here. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lay out a command line, just like I have here, for the armor stand. And for any other entity, like this. Just three command blocks instead of four. So, for the armor stand, I just put an armor stand with an emerald block on its head. You could put anything on its head, just with the command which I'll put in the description, replace item, entity, then the selector, I just named this armor stand emerald, so I'll do at e, name equals emerald, slot dot armor dot head, then the ID of the block you want, I'll put my skull on it. Never mind, I can't. Let's put Antminum's skull on it. Why not? So, there, I replaced the slot with Antminum's head. I could replace it with a bone block. Boom, bone block. I could replace it with a spawner. Not spawner, boss. Bomb spawner. Boom, spawner. I could just replace it with any block I want, but I'll change it back to an animal block. There we go. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place down, like I said, a command line just like this. With a, a repeat command block, then two conditional chains, and then an unconditional chain. And the, and the first command block... You're just going to put the command tp at e name equals and then emerald is just the name of the armor stand. In here you put the name of the armor stand that you created. And then at e type equals player. So it teleports it to the player. If you're doing it on an adventure map, you can maybe make a scoreboard and teleport it to a player with a, a specific scoreboard value. Or maybe you could just TP it to a specific player. Who knows? But the next command block is going to be a chain conditional. And you're going to just TP the armor stand down 1.405 blocks. And that just makes it so because you're TPing the armor stand to your head area here. Like, I'll show you. If I just took this command block itself, then it teleports it to your head. And it follows you up here and that's not what you want so um that command block just ensures that it's on the ground then the next command block uh you only have to do this once but i just do it here just in case entity data at e name equals and then again the name of the armor stand disabled slots and then specifically this two million 96,896 and this is to make sure that every single slot of the armor stand is disabled and you can't give it like a sword or if I get uh, armor here I can't just like give it a chest plate I can't take the emerald block off its head it's locked on and that's just to ensure that no one messes with that and then the final command is just to give the player invisibility. Make sure you give it for one second, so when you turn it off, then the invisibility just instantly runs out. So then, if I turn this on just by setting this command block to unconditional, as you could see, it moves when you look around, it moves with you, it jumps when you jump, and you are literally just, you're literally the emerald block. It works just like anything else. You could step on like a levitation pad or something, and it'll levitate up. It'll come down. 
So, yeah, that's about it for the Emerald Block. Now let's get into an actual mob. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, if you want to turn it off, you just set the first repeat command block from unconditional to conditional. If it's conditional, it won't activate. If it's unconditional, then it will. And also, as you can see, it's unconditional, so the invisibility ran out. But anyway, let's go on to the next end. Now, here's the next entity we're going to be working with. It's going to be this wolf right here. Um, I just named it wolf for the sake of ease with the command blocks, but you can name it to anything you want. So, the first, you're going to lay out command blocks just like I did here, and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to tp at e name equals wolf at e type equals player. Which, just like with the armor stand, it just teleports the entity to the player itself. Because the armor stand, because it, it's the armor stand is still being teleported, like it, the wolf is, but you would need to teleport it down just so the block looks like it's on the ground. With the wolf, you don't need to do that. All you need to do is teleport it to the player. And the next command block just gives the player invisibility effect. Add e type equals player fourteen once fourteen, which is the ID one for the time, and then you could do any number you want up to 255 for the level, it's just invisibility, it's not going to change anything. And then true, I forgot to mention that here, true, so it doesn't show the particles. And then here you're going to give the wolf jump boost, which the ID is 8 for one second, and level like 5 or 10, just so it doesn't take fall damage when you jump. So I'm going to activate this, and you might say, well, you get moved in like a single direction because you're being pushed by the wolf. Well, I, luckily, have something to stop that. So, what you're going to do is you're going to make a scoreboard team with the command slash scoreboard teams add, and then you can do any name you want. I'm just going to do collision. So then the next thing you're going to want to do is slash scoreboard teams join then the player and could not add player to oh join collision at each other player so you need to join the team name sorry about that and then add each other type equals player and then name equals and then the name of the wolf or just any entity you want to make it so you don't collide with. Then finally, you're going to do two more commands, slash scoreboard, teams, and you're going to go all the way to the end, option, collision, and then C, and hit tab three times until you hit collision rule. And you're going to set this to never, and then now, you can't push the entity anymore. Though, if I start this up, you see that there's one more problem. You could still see the player. And to fix that, we're just going to do slash scoreboard teams option, the team name, C friendly invisibles to false. And that's all you need to do to make it so you become any entity you want besides an armor stand, which is different. And yeah. Now you are the wolf. If you jump, it jumps. And if you go on this levitation pad, it'll levitate. I could fly around with it. The only problem is that it took fall damage. That's only because I fell down with the wolf. Remember, you're still the wolf. You're still going to take damage as it does. Now, there is one drawback with this that I found, and the wolf doesn't always look where you look if you're standing still looking around. If you move a little bit, then it'll work perfectly fine. But if you're just standing still and not moving, sometimes it won't work. But that's really the only drawback to it. That was how to make 
make it so you become an entity, or a block, in this case, with the armor's hand. Um, there have been ways to do this in the past, just not nearly as compact. So, yeah, that's about it for becoming an entity. Again, with the armor stand, as you can see, it's conditional here. You could just set this to conditional to turn it off, and you'll become visible again. And also, if you're doing this for an adventure map and you want to move the wolf, I have a video for a one command block pathfinding that will appear in the corner of your screen here now. And I have that command, and it will just do something like this, where any entity you put on it will automatically move in the direction you make it move, and then you can make it a never-ending loop, you can make it move to a specific spot you want, you can make it do anything. So, as you can see, I could just go into game mode 3, I'm getting a lot of lag, hold on. Yeah, as you can see here, there are just purple stairs underneath, and if you watch the video that was just in the corner of the screen, you will see how that works. So, uh, yeah, that was how to make yourself, how to make the player become an entity, or a block in the case of the armor stand. So, I hope you found this helpful. So, uh, yeah. See you guys.